Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your August 2021 reading. This is Psychic Medium Angela Mitchell. I'm going to give you a little bit of clarity and a head start what to expect this month. Um, I'm very excited because I'm a Sagittarius too. So let's see what um, comes, uh, what messages are coming out for us. What do we have to face? If it doesn't res, if you listen to the entire video and it doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at the the signs before um, and after your sign in my channel in this playlist. Um, you might find that you might resonate more with Scorpio, for example, if you're born um, the early, you know, November twenty second, for example. Um, because there's still a lot of Scorpio energy um, at that time. Or December 21st, uh, 2021, you might find that you have more um, Capricorn tendencies as well. So it doesn't hurt to um, have a listen and say, put it together and take what resonates and what doesn't. It's not an exact science in a way, because obviously with the horoscope and zodiacs is just a guideline um really of energy so it's interesting because um i'm a sagittarius in the um in the zodiacs and uh, my mom used to tell me in the indian um verdict astrology that i was a pisces and there are sometimes I've read Pisces and I'm going, oh my God, that's exactly what's been happening um, this week, um, you know. And um, so I've, I've been quite open to the concept that we have, we sometimes can um, have different zodiac signs depending on what, where you look, uh, which calendar or, or astrology. Oh, wow. That you look at whoa okay cool very interesting cards you should well you didn't see it but it just flew across the table wow okay one more please one more card unicorns okay i see right come on sagittarius good cards good cards good messages Stretch your wings and fly, Sagittarius. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So, um, so def you are getting... So immediately this tells me there's something that you desire, that you want to do. Um, but it involves you being kind of taking off. There's a sense of taking off. So this is about new opportunities and um, perhaps you, you know, not underestimating yourself and like, well, this might be something new, something you haven't done or probably takes you out of your comfort zone. Um, but you are definitely, you know, Sagittarius in general, we, we, are, we are creatures that, that, um, want to be free and, and we're always on some sort of a, a quest we, we seek uh, the truth we seek knowledge um, and uh, we are definitely after um, some kind of adventure so we don't like things to get stale we want to have we want to shake things up and we're not afraid so uh, definitely they are things happening uh, events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at, at once. So August, you are going to find yourself, Sagittarius, August is going to be a very busy time. You are, there are new opportunity, opportunities coming up for you um, and, um, and it feels like you are going places in August. So this is going to be a start, a trend for August and September. You're going to be putting seeds down for perhaps not just for the for the next couple of months of this year but also next year you're going to find that there's going to be um quite people you're going to be in demand Sagittarius that's good news for me um high priestess 
um and listen to your intuition have patience consider what you want before acting see this the problem is when you have too much going on then you're being Sagittarius we we are all over the place and 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 we do rush into things quite a bit so this is where we are grounding ourselves saying the high priestess is coming to ground us and say where hey hold on a minute but you know um just just stop and consider and make sure that this is all that you are before you commit to things just make sure that you do, you know what you're doing um and also listen to your intuition i mean obviously i'm a psychic and a medium but there's lots of us especially you know i've met a lot of sagittarius who are very empathic and and interested in spiritual matters and intuition and so on so just just be open to you know listen to the voice that might be popping up in your mind um that might be saying hey listen you know maybe this isn't a great good thing or hey you know take this opportunity um and and how do you feel what is your body saying to you um and um you know but have a bit of patience i know sagittarius we're not the greatest with patience um you've come into your own a new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward so definitely there there will be opportunities for you to be part you know some sort of partnership or teaming up with somebody so you might find yourself uh meeting some interesting people in august who may be um enticing you to uh do certain things together so be open to it but also remember the high priestess warning that just be careful about what you get yourself into but moving forward you're moving forward all the way um and news of exciting new um uh, opportunity use your origin originality and creativity so you're definitely definitely going places starting something new you are and and with the moon as well so it's a new moon new beginnings new opportunities the portal um that is opening on the 8th of august will also bring in some very new fantastic energy and opportunities for sagittarius now open your heart and mind to those around you um I know this is while we're busy doing all the stuff you know Sagittarius are also very charitable and they're always thinking about others um and um this is basically saying like hey you know just look 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 around you there may be people that need your help so uh be open to perhaps um doing something for the community um and um you know and also uh try to get sometimes it's really important when when we've got all these things going on and opportunities and thinking about um um you know uh trying to build that success and so on that maybe it's good to stop and ask for help or advice or somebody to give you a little bit of a um a balance in you know so that that you can have a different point of view in there okay um and uh and another fantastic card so some so this is a happy family life um financial security finding the magic in little things in life so this is you know it's a beautiful little message saying that you know if you are definitely you're stretching your wings you're trying to uh, get this a sense of independence individuality um that you are asserting yourself that you're moving forward great opportunities meeting new people perhaps a partnership and it's all sort of culminates in a in a nice um sort of happiness it's kind of getting everything that you want now then for some of you for some of you some sagittarius you're going to find um um you know there's this financially i feel for sagittarius august and september is going to be a good month to make money and you know feels that financially you feel in a good place but also for some of you you might be wanting to do some um um an, you know complete a course or get you might find that that you um that you find drawn to doing a new course um or that that you just want to upgrade your skills or your knowledge because sagittarius are those who we get bored quite easily um so why not tap use that boredom challenge yourself and do something interesting because it feels like as if you did that that can also improve your life in in the future um now here we're getting into um um this is the unicorn cards which i love and beautiful messages quite a few cards here okay giving a little bit of clarity there is there is a 
there is a feeling that's come up a few times in in for the other uh, signs as well. Forgiveness, it's time to let go. So whatever that you're letting go in emotional upset, um, whether it's friends or family or past uh, um, company that you worked for or business deal that didn't go right, you know, sometimes we just have to let go in, in order for us to move forward because those people, people who hurt us, they don't even, re they probably don't remember do we, or what happened? They don't remember uh, um, saying something or doing something. Or, or they were still might not even remember you. Okay, If you've worked for a company like, you know, 10 years ago and you're still feeling really sore about the situation, they, those people have moved on. So, what, un, um, you know, let go. Un, um, uh, as they say, you know, just, just cut yourself out of that situation. Um you are love, the answer that you're seeking for is love, you know, essentially you're driven by love, this is what you want in your life, um, and you've got um, happy thoughts, uh, to feel happier, think about a memory of something that uh, makes you smile, um, we, as this came up with a different sign, and what I said there now as well is that sometimes when we think about the past, we often, a lot of us, a lot of people, tend to go back to, if you think, for example, of somebody that's passed, um, we tend to think about how they passed, the funeral, you know, we think about, we, our mind takes us naturally to the last uh, memory of them, in that sense, and usually the last memory for most of us is, um, you know, perhaps visiting, visiting them in the hospital, or how they passed, or seeing them in the funeral, all of those things, right? Uh, or the last conversations. And for some, it might have been, you know, uh, not all of us are going to have warm, fluffy uh, last moments with our loved ones. I mean, you could have had an argument with somebody and then they, they passed. Um, and that whole, you then that gives you a lifetime of um, guilt and hurt and pain because of that memory of that. But why not go beyond that? Go beyond to that happy moments, Think about those times and think about the moments that made you happy. I always think about that time I was in Mexico sitting by the beach and watching the waves, the sound of the waves and the, the heat and um, and just, just watching life. It, it's just the most beautiful, beautiful moment ever. I, I remember thinking that the, the amazement of, of, of nature and God and, and source and that created all of this. It's just so beautiful. So we can go back to those times. Um, love from your parents, you know, no matter what your mother and father do love you. Um, if they're still alive, you know, it's just a little reminder to say, hey, you know, we do, the, the, there's definitely, this is, maybe you need to connect with them and, and need to have that. Um, if there's a, the situation where you do feel that you need a little bit of you you want um you want to have it out with them or you you essentially want to need to forgive them you feel you need to forgive them um or you feel that they've done you wrong um you can it, it feels like as if you know i've said this before but there's some people you can't change. You can't change the situation, but you can change how we feel about the situation or about those people. So it is it is in your hands and how you want to feel. If you had a question before you started uh, watching this video and you've been thinking about some to what you want to do, uh, perhaps you wanted to study and you're thinking, oh, I'm not sure it's the right moment, or perhaps you've, you know, you're making some changes in your career. The answer is definitely yes. Okay, so whatever that you had in your mind, then let's see more, a bit more clarity. Okay. So your happiness never depends on one person or a thing. You make Sagittarius, we are independent people. We do tend to make ourselves happy and we do, um, well, I know I'm very in touch with myself. I kind of know I've, over the years I understood 
uh, what makes me happy and what doesn't. Um, so you don't really need other people to make you happy. Try out a new activity or explore something you've never done before. So, you know, this is perfect for a Sagittarius because that's what we're all about. You know, we want to try new things and we're not afraid to take leaps. Uh, of fate that's that's the thing sometimes we thought things that we thought lost can come back to us so if you had a relationship that that you felt you know whether it's your family with your parents or, or or your own relationship that's lost you feel that you've been cut out from a relationship that they can come back to us so be open to that right um and there can be a disconnect between the message we're giving and what someone hears so are you what message are you sending out what you know this it feels like as if there's there's a sense of miscommunication in all of this all right sagittarius I wish you good luck and i wish myself good luck as well as sagittarius There's lots going on um if you resonated with this reading and um you liked my style of reading please leave a comment to let me know and also hit subscribe and like button